We need to talk a little bit about uh, capture contracture. A lot of people have heard those words, not everybody really understands it. And unfortunately, things that have been put on the internet 20 years ago are still out there. And so we've, we've gotten a lot smarter about um, what actually the cause of capture contracture is. And it turns out that it's very similar to the same thing that destroys uh, artificial knee joints and artificial valves. And it's a strange kind of infection that wasn't even recognized until about 25 years ago. And the name of the infection is called biofilm, but for our purposes we're just going to talk about it as it applies to the breast implant. And what happens with that is it's usually a bacteria that's not a very aggressive bacteria that gets put in next to the heart valve artificial joint or whatever. And it goes into a kind of a colony where it's subclinical infection, meaning it doesn't have redness, pus, it doesn't have fevers or any of that. But nevertheless, it still is an infection because it's a bacteria in a place where it shouldn't be. And over time, when it's around a breast implant, it could cause the breast implant to get too round, too hard, too high on the chest, and if it's left long enough, it can even become uncomfortable. Uh, easier to prevent than to treat, but uh, so that most plastic surgeons have gone to uh, great lengths to change their techniques uh, into things that are uh, less likely to stir up a capture contracture. Uh, capture contracture is the number one complication, number one significant complication uh, with breast surgery. At some point in the United States, it was as high as 16 percent. Probably now, some of the preventive things we're doing are down in the range of six percent. Uh, we're talking about something that usually occurs somewhere after your third year and not much after your seventh year uh, and almost always starts out by just feeling like your bra doesn't fit anymore and then you notice that uh, one implant is not behaving, has the same shape as the other. At that point there's a lot of things that can be done to intervene and maybe turn it around without having to have a surgical correction. A complication that we're getting better at, uh, not only diagnosing but also treating, uh, there have been some new uh, devices that have come on the market that are actually significant in treating the, the capture contracture and I can talk to you more about those at a different time. So that pretty much covers the topic of, that we were uh, discussing today and uh, we'll continue to do more videos and hopefully you'll find them educational and a little bit entertaining.